Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos. Today we're having a look at the coins I bought from the Royal Mint gift shop. Now, <laughs> I'm a silly, silly goose. I saw a Paddington hanging on one thing there and I saw a Paddington hanging on one thing there. And I actually thought, I saw St Paul's and I picked up the other one thinking, oh that must be the tower. But no, I'm a dafty. I got two St Paul's. So I'll have to buy a couple of pa towers from the... <laughs> from the online website because I'm a silly goose yes but not to worry what I'm gonna do this one here I'm gonna open up and have a wee look inside and shall pop it away again it's just for those who don't have it and thinking of buying it I can open mine up and pop it away I do like that I do like the detailing on that St Paul's really lovely I'm always concerned when there's dust and stuff when I open it. I know it's not in the package, it's not not around here either. I'm quite clean around here. Never mind though. So that's uh, reverse of the coin. Here's your obverse. 2019, JC, Jody Clark. Usual thing. I'll pause the video if you want to, if you have a, want to read what's on here. Just following Paddington's adventures. This is checklist. And inside the cathedral. Looks like a happy bear. And there we go. That's a double dome inside. It's a Christopher Wren's masterpiece. Marmalade. <laughs> and there's your specifications. Usual 50p, 8 gram, 27.30. Yep, <laughs> here we go. So what I'll do, I'll just pop this back into its wrapper. We'll move on to the next coin. And so, yeah, I'll have to buy a couple of the tower versions. Now, this one here is the Shape of a Revolution. This is pretty much the, the bunk version of the Strike Your Own at the moment. I do have the Strike Your Own. Wonderful, wonderful coin. I do like this. I'll be opening this one up so you don't have to. There we go. Here's your reverse, I shall zoom in, look at that, put your spirograph in that bottom corner by the 50, the camera does not do this justice, I cannot get it zoomed a bit, oh look at that, they're just about, there we go, but it goes around each edge, as letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G are on each point. I don't think my camera is capable enough to, re to actually see that though. I can barely make out D and E. So fine, so fine. Anyway, no matter. Zoom back out. Open this up. There's your obverse. Usual 2019 Jody Clark. If you want to have a wee read of that, feel free. Do feel free to pause. And this goes through all the designer Christopher Ironside's uh, iconic Britannia. There's a secondary spirograph type design, and that's lovely. I do like that. There we go, and there's your engineering technical specifications. I do like how they kept conformity with the, when they shrunk the 50p down. There's a rear end showing you all the specifications. Reverse design is Christopher Ironside. So what I'll do, I'll pop this back into the wrapper. Next off, I got two 20 pound coins. These are only available in the mint shop. They're not available on the website. So I thought while down there, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, I'll get one of these each. I got, I did see the 2019 and I remember the absolute coins that uh, get one from 2018 and I remember his video and that's what kind of what inspired me to get these. So big shout out to absolute coins for this. Thank you very much for showing me what's available. Just like what he does, I'm going to quickly open up the, the wrapper so you don't have to. Let's 
and show you what's inside this glorious. There's a 2018 version. I'll be quick because I want to go through the 2019 version as well. So feel free to have a wee pause. It does look quite good, eh? The land of the dragon moved from Tower Hill to Clantrescent. I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> And there's your coin specifications. Nomination is £20. Alloy is 999AG. Uh, 15.71 kilo, uh, kilograms. Grams. I wish it was kilograms. <laughs> it's a diameter of 27 millimetre. There's Jody Clark on the obverse. Norman Silman on the reverse. This is brilliant uncirculated. There's your Welsh Dragon. Look at that detail. Even the scales on that are lovely. I'm going to quickly pop this back in and we shall have a look at the 2019 variant. So there's a 2019 variant, pretty much the same except it has 2019 on the obverse. A uh, different co uh, cover for the packaging. Uh, fairly similar insides. In fact, it's exactly the same insides. <laughs> The only real difference is the year. Everything else is exactly the same, but what a lovely coin. What a lovely coin. I do like that design. I am a fan of the Welsh Dragon. I kind of wish they did bring one out for the Lion Rampant and maybe one for each of the nations. That would have been a nice little thing to do. So they changed the pound coin year on year. Could have done the same with this, but I get it. It's only from the mint. It's based in Wales and it's their home turf. They have every right to do so, I guess. But I would have loved to have seen one of these in a lion rampant version. That would have been, that would have made my day. Anyway, next, I have two of these left. We shall go with Victoria first. I've already shown Victoria before in the album set at the beginning of the year that I got. Which contain Wedgwood and uh, what's that D Day Wedgwood and something else. I've forgotten. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Just for you the reverse of that one. It just basically coin specifications as you'd expect. Twenty eight point twenty eight grams, five pound, thirty eight point sixty one. Obverse is Jody Clark. Reverse is John Bergdahl. So let's show the, oh, the reverse. Look at that. I do love that with all the detailing of the everything within the reign of Victoria from the Industrial Revolution all the way through to the beginnings of the modern era. What we know today. So yes, there's your obverse, Joey Clark. We have seen this before, like I say, on the album set, but with this one it's a wee bit different. I'll let you have a wee pause of these and have a wee read if you like. If you're thinking of buying one of these, I would highly recommend it. I got this from the Mint itself, but it is available on their website. They're not, they don't pay me to, to sell these or anything like that. I just uh, I like the design quite a lot. I don't usually buy £5 coins. I buy, get the odd one or two now and again. But um, like silver proofs, it's a slippery slope. You've got to buy them all, eh? I try not to be uh, too much of an addict. <laughs> End up with intervention. So I'll pop this one away and we'll get the last coin on the go. And here we are, a century of remembrance. Now I saw this, I did see it in the background. I think, was it online or in an email? But when I got down to the mint, I actually had a look at it and in person, I did like it. I really did like it. I'd, I do have a few poppy coins from likes of Guernsey, Jersey, or wherever it was. I've got the Isle of Man one from last year as well. Century of Remembrance. 100 years since the first formal Remembrance Day service. Imperial War Museums. Here's your usual specifications. Everything exactly the same as Victoria, except for the reverse design, it's Harry Brockway. 
let's have a wee look at this one without the polythene interfering. Lovely, look at that. That's a beautiful coin. Love the wee green and red on there. That's quite lovely. There was a silver proof and it was oh, it was beautiful and I'm trying not to buy all the silver proofs. I was tempted, but um, I'll, I'll maybe wait and get a, the next time I'm down there, I'll buy a silver proof or two. Do feel free to have a wee pause, like I say, with every coin pack that I open up. And Flanders Fields. Royal Mint in the First World War. They would have made a lot of medals after that. They make the medals for not just uh, campaigns, but for other things, even including the Olympics, don't forget. There we go. Beautiful. Like I said, the silver proof was ex exceptionally lovely, and I just wish I had money to buy silver proof in every single coin. <laughs> Maybe next time, who knows? Maybe next time. So, anyway, that's that one covered. Hope you liked any of the coins. If you've got any of these, do talk about it in the comments. Tell me what you got, tell me what you like. If you have any of these in silver proof, do tell me. Um, I'm gonna dash off and now. I've got to make a couple of other things to do and then head to bed. I've got a live stream coming out very soon. I think it's on Monday. Yes, 7 p.m., 10 p.m. And um, just the usual videos after that for the week. So hopefully I'll see you on the live stream. Tune in then. Love to see you there. Catch you soon. Have fun.